All right, family, so let's identify these quadrants. So what we have here is our four different quadrants. We have here least difficult to implement and least impactful ideas. We call this quadrant, these ideas that land here, we call them distractions. They're there for amusement. So we really don't want to put a whole lot of our focus in that quadrant. Here, we have ideas that are very, very impactful, um, not very hard to implement. Ideas that land in that quadrant, um, they're high value ideas, um, but they're kind of like low hanging fruit. Oftentimes, organically, those ideas will happen um, as you pursue your final solution, all right? So let's go to our upper left quadrant. Um, these are the ideas that are super hard to, well, if you have them way at the top there, very hard to implement, uh, but not very impactful in this quadrant here. We call these luxury ideas. These are the want-to-haves, the want-to-have ideas. So if these are the want-to-haves, these are the need-to-haves in the upper right quadrant. These are what we call our strategic quadrant. But listen, I'm asking you all not to only focus on this quadrant and selecting your ideas. I would say let's focus in this area for our final two, maybe three ideas that I want you to take to prototyping. All right? Of course, we don't want anything at the very, very far top right. Um, Yes, we will save that for uh, maybe another project down the road. But we're looking in this area here. So I want you as a team to find two or three ideas that land in that quadrant. I'm seeing people moving. Don't cheat my process. We're moving, we're moving post-it notes. I'm watching you. I'm slapping wrist. Okay. <laughs> All right. As a team, select two or three ideas from there. And I'm going to turn this back over to Dr. Grouse so we can show you um, how to create a napkin pitch so we can get some feedback on the ideas that your team had come up with, all right?